Hi everyone, Release Fire here. So I'm going to talk you through Control's Anchor Altered Item. It leads to one epic, epic boss fight. I'm going to talk you through how to get to it first and how to beat it when you do eventually get to it. You can find it in logistics in the containment area. Now there's an easy way to get to it. You can simply fast travel to it or you can walk all the way over to it. But to begin with, what you need to do is start this mission, which is called A Matter of Time. And essentially it sees you going through to the, uh, to the motel again and going on this huge route to try to find a medic for somebody that's in trouble. Once you complete that or as a part of going through that you'll find out about the enemy within mission which is where you'll find the anchor altered item now to find your way back to the area you need to either fast travel to the sealed threshold entrance or you can follow me on the screen it's essentially heading over to the far right of logistics you just head on up through this door and that will take you closer to the uh, to the place that you need to go through, which is this door up here. And then it's just a case of heading up and around these stairs. You can see that I'm heading in the right direction to get to the anchor now. So you just keep on heading up these stairs. And when you get to the top, you'll have another set of stairs to take. So head on through those stairs, follow the corridor all the way around, and that'll eventually bring you around to this door, which will then bring you around the corner into this room and it's this room where you'll find the sealed threshold entrance control point which you will have found as a part of the previous mission so then it's just a case of heading back over the clocks making your way through here sometimes this room's going to be filled with enemies i tend to just avoid them and use evade to stay away from their attacks so that i don't lose any health before going in needless to say the uh, the anchor altered item is a pretty tough boss so it's taken me a hell of a lot of tries to work out the perfect way to beat it and one of the things that you need to take into account is your setup it's good to have as much health as possible you you can see I've put on as much health as I had. And then once you've got yourself all set up, it's a case of just heading on in using levitate. You can levitate across here, you just need to do a pretty big jump and uh, get moving as quickly as possible. And that will bring you through to the anchor, which is where the boss is. Now to start with, it's relatively easy and a little bit monotonous, or it feels monotonous. It like it tricks you into thinking that it's going to be an easy fight. However, it's not because you get loads of other enemies that come and get you as you're trying to fight the anchor. If it was just you against the anchor, you could probably take it out relatively easily. But because it's not, you can't. Now what you want to do is launch one of these clocks at it when it opens up and faces you. Now, as soon as it's doing that, do it as quick as possible, otherwise it'll blast out a huge load of clocks, which will take a lot of your health. Now, then it will circle around that room, doing the same on each four of the areas. You can see it's doing that on the right-hand side any second now, and then it'll turn back around to face me, for me to have another chance at throwing a clock at its central core. But after the second go, this is when the enemies start to come in. However, there is a really clever trick or a clever thing for you to do so that you don't actually have to face them all that much. And it's essentially to jump and go in the opposite direction to the direction that the clock's moving in to try to stay away from them. So I'm aiming for the one on the opposite side and I'm trying to beat it before it turns around so that I can get in another hit on it before all the other enemies come and get me. So you can see here, I've managed to get into a good position. I've got my clock ready, it's gonna open up. I can do another hit and then I can start moving in the opposite direction again. Yes, the enemies are still following me, but because I've taken them into the blast of the, uh, of the mouth, it will kind of take all of those out for me. So then I can then circle back around, taking these out as I fly land and I've got a load of health just waiting for me. Now I've kind of missed getting it with the clocks on that particular go but I can just keep circling around and eventually I'll have the perfect opportunity and while I'm circling around the uh, the anchor will be blasting out all the enemies that kind of appear and try to get me. So you can see you kind of miss some opportunities and it's a little bit irregular in terms of which direction it starts to turn in after a certain amount of time but if you just keep on heading around, you'll eventually find one that will come to you. Now these enemies are slowly coming in my direction, but you can see I'm just waiting for an opportunity because 
I kind of figure if I just keep waving it around to try to avoid the enemies, I should be able to get the hit in, which I did. And then it's just the case of getting back to circling around in the opposite direction and picking up any health drops that you can find along the way. Now you can see that's the blast that you're trying to avoid by circling. And you can see it's kind of facing in the wrong direction, so I need to keep circling around until there's another opportunity. There's a perfect enemy that I can blast there, which will give me another little bit of elemental health boost. And if you just keep following that process around, you'll eventually get to a place whereby you'll be able to wait for it to uh, open its mouth in your direction and get your hits in. So you're getting closer and slowly ever closer to defeating it. It is going to get you every now and again, but by following this process, you should have enough health pickups along the way to be able to stay in the game and wait for your perfect opportunities to get your hits in, which you can see me doing there. Now there's only one hit required now, so it's just a case of heading on around, using evade as much as possible where you need to, and then it's just the case of waiting for it to face in my direction, get in the hits, and that is the anchor contained. Job done. That's how to get to it. That's the best way to beat it. And then it will float on over, and then it's just the case of heading on over to, uh, to contain it. So that's it. Hopefully the video helps you out. Like I said earlier, if it does, drop me a like below. It's massively, massively appreciated. You can also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already with the links on the left-hand side and hit that bell button if you want to get notifications for all of my videos as they come out. You can see the rest of my series on control with the links on the right-hand side. Leave any comments below. Let me know how you're getting on. And don't forget to check out the shop with the links on the left at the bottom. Thanks, guys. Goodbye.